What's going on, everybody? It sure has been a damn while. Life kind of took over the steering wheel for a bit, if you know what I'm saying. But I'm back with another one. Let's just get this one started with the ever-popular traffic light timing being a douche. Mixed with a impatient minivan driver. Yeah, this combo is sure to please the ladies, because everyone loves a stable guy, right? Even more so, a stable guy with a safe minivan, likely sheltering his family that he's taking so much care to protect. But then, all of a sudden, the light turns green, right? So we go from a protected, sheltered, beautiful little minivan to somebody that doesn't want to stop at a yellow slash red light. Someone that basically, eventually, will pause, if you see him, he's going to pause, and he pauses on the train tracks. Oh, great vibes. I get great vibes from this guy. So as you can see, the light changes, and within a heartbeat, it's like, oh, then all of a sudden, this guy's like on the tracks. I guess, you know, it's red. It is what it is. And then he decided to just take the bumps. But if you see a suspension, it kind of wibble wobbled a little bit. That was good, too. But, you know, that's awesome. Didn't want to stop. I got stuck with the light. I got screwed, as usual. But like you always see with my videos, we start out with the fluff stuff, the easy stuff. We're going to work our way into the good ones. Don't you worry. Oh boy, so this next clip features a big bad biker dude who didn't want to wait behind three f***ing cars. So he started revving up his bike like a massive tool in a toolbox. And then when he finally gets sick of waiting there, after about like four big heavy revs, he nearly hits the car in front of him because he was trying so hard to be the coolest biker on the planet. As you can see, he's sitting there, he's revving, and he's contemplating, and then he goes, and I guess one of his love handles twisted, it contorted his weight, it shifted his weight to the left a little bit, almost smacked into an Audi. I'm telling you right now, whoa, if he would have hit that car in front of him while showboating, I swear to God, I would have legit pissed myself in my own car. I would have. And then as you saw there, he almost hits the Jeep that was turning. And all of this, what did he do with this, right? He ends up going forward, and he's what? A couple cars ahead of me. Yeah, congratulations. Look where you got. You almost smacked into an Audi, almost got, you know, smacked up by a Jeep, and you look like an idiot. Incoming, with more douches. This time we're out of light. And if you pay attention to any of my previous videos, you'll know that this light has been in previous videos. So let's just explain the situation here. This right lane that we're in can go straight or left. The left lane over there to the left can only go left. It says only in big freaking letters. Most people that travel this know about this. So what you're about to see on the left is a white vehicle pass by followed by a red vehicle coming in at a higher rate of speed and almost rear-ending him right here. And he knew all along that he was going to continue going straight. He knew. He knew he was going to be a douche all the way he knew he was going to be a douche. Honestly, if any one of the cars that were in that right lane decided to legally make a left turn, there would have been a cheap Toyota pancake. But as per usual, we're just going to catch up to this schmuck because you know, as well as I do, that he didn't get too far, right? And why didn't he get too far? Because he's a fucking idiot, and he doesn't know how to drive. So, you know, we're driving here, and obviously, you know, we go through this light again. Yet, again, he went straight, but he did it correctly this time. So we're driving toward the next light. So is he going to be a douche at this light? Who knows? All I know is I'm about to see his bright red ass. And cue in the douchebag. There he is. Ding, ding, ding. We have an asshole. So this next clip is something I see pretty often, and especially on side streets like this. You get a douche that doesn't really want to wait literally a handful of f***ing seconds at a stop sign. So what do they do? They think because it's a side street that they could just run the sign. So look up ahead of us, see? Uh, this is real time. That guy barely slowed down. Then he turns. So you just pulled out of your street onto my street just to go one street away. Big rush there, freaking Earnhardt. Big rush just to go one block. I'm sure he saved a lot of time by running that stop sign. So this next clip is a freaking fantastic example of stupidity and why my area sucks. I'm not even going to say anything. You ready? Just watch. We're going to turn. Boom! Is your mind blown yet? What is that? Why is it facing me? Where are we? What country are we in? Nope, we're in the right country. He's on the wrong side of the road. So if you look to the left, there's people on the freaking sidewalk. Then you got this giant garbage truck facing the wrong way. And not only that, look at him. He's inching up to me. Get on the correct fucking side of the road. This idiot is driving down the street in a head-on collision type scenario. Um, I don't, I, I don't understand. I know you have a job that you do all day long. 
and it's a hard job. But this is not okay. The guys can walk across the street. They do it all day long. There's no need to be where you are. Get a grip, my dude. Get a grip. We're going to play a quick game, okay? I'm going to look at this clip with you all, and we're going to see if you can kind of sort it in the next two seconds predict what's about to happen. Are you ready? Get ready. Can you guess what's about to happen at this point? I'm sure most of you, all clear-headed, level-headed, intelligent viewers of mine can guess what the hell's about to happen. This douche is going to do that thing that I hate where he pretends to go right and is going to go straight. And now you can tell. He hit the gas pretty aggressively. That's pretty special, my friend. That's pretty special. You know, what a fantastic example of a dickhead. That's all that is. And you know what? It's just, I I wish I could have been in that moment. I wish I could have been that lead car. I wish I could have been that car all up in front because that shit would not have gone as planned for him. I tell you that much. You know how I always talk about reoccurring streets and areas? Here we go again. The same clip, the same area, and look what happens. Just check this truck out. Just check this white truck out. Can somebody please freaking explain to me what the hell is going on with that truck? Because as far as my beautiful blue eyes can tell, this asshole is over the line on both sides here. He's just, look look at that. That's not even over the line on both sides. He's like literally in my lane to the point where there was almost not enough room for me to pass. What in the hell were you doing? He's the type of guy that doesn't know how to drive at all and he's sitting there in his big ass freaking truck that's way too big for him and his GPS goes recalculating and then he doesn't know what the fuck is going on and he ends up in a situation like that. Okay, so we're going to bring closure correctly to this clip with yet another motorcycle. But guess what? This one's more of a douche than the last one. Now, I'm just driving along this road. I'm not on anybody's ass. I'm not bothering anybody. I'm minding my own business. And all of a sudden, this asshole on a bike comes flying by me and passes me and a bunch of cars at a high rate of speed. Just driving like a dickhead. I was getting ready to pull into a business. Do you hear what I'm saying? I was pulling into a business, which was on the right side, which means what you're about to see, get ready, insert king douche, douchebag number one right there. I'm so cool because I've got, you know, insignia on my jacket and I'm probably gang related and I've got a club and they're going to back me up. Now that would have been real, real freaking special for me, right? Imagine if this douchebag was doing that right as I was pulling in. Wouldn't that have been a real freaking mess, right? Just as he's in a big freaking rush and has something to prove and can't wait for anything. He's probably got an itchy asshole from that freaking seat and he just wants to get home to scratch his asshole, you know, Bro, this isn't California. You can't be doing that shit here. There are too many cars and there are too many stupid son of a bitches in this area to you to do that. And in the worst part, like I said, this guy's wearing like colors or some kind of jacket. He's probably in a gang. All of a sudden I do that and now I've got people perched outside my house drinking 40, spitting shit and farting, throwing things all over the place. All because of what? Me driving normal? Get the hell out of here. Thank you for watching everybody. I appreciate you all. You're all a bunch of special people. Please subscribe for more. I'm coming back. I'm going to come back in a big way. I've got a lot of these left. Have a good day.